We've been a key state uh, for you know as long as I can remember now. Uh, we're a battleground state. Uh, we are the biggest battleground state. Here locally, Pennsylvania's 159 Democratic delegates already pledged their support to Harris. KDKA's Megan Schiller talked to two state reps about that conference call and what will happen at next month's convention. Unprecedented and unlike anything they've seen in decades. Those are just some of the words that were used to describe what is going to be happening next month at the Democratic National Convention. We talked to two of our local delegates about what they expect to happen and what they want you to know about the process. This space along East Carson Street will soon transform into one of Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign offices. Everybody I talked to is energized um, and I think it's put really new life into the party and we're all anxious to see what's going to happen with her vice presidential pick. State Representative Dan Frankel is one of 159 elected PA delegates that will soon head to Chicago for the Democratic National Convention. And he said PA delegates already reached a consensus. It's not going to be the kind of chaos that I think some people predicted might take place. He tells KDKA PA delegates voted during a conference call to pledge their support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. So while it is different than any other convention I've been to in, in my uh, 40 years of doing this, um, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, in many ways conventional from the standpoint of where we know who the nominee is going to be. Uh, uh, by then we'll know who the vice president's going to be. Harris and any other Democrat looking to challenge her will submit 300 electronic signatures from convention delegates, not more than 50 from the same state. At that point, uh, if there's multiple candidates, there will be a period of several days where those candidates can make their case to the delegates for why they should be the choice. If there's just one candidate, we'll proceed immediately to a virtual roll call vote. State Rep and PA Delegate Jessica Benham says anybody who qualifies can still run, but here's how she sees it. When people voted for President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris to be their candidates this spring, they did so knowing that if something happened to the president, the vice president would be stepping up to serve. And I want to honor that choice that was made by the voters. And even though she has yet to get the official nod, they already have election campaign offices popping up in and around Pittsburgh, including in Southside, where they expect to soon host events as well in the coming weeks. Reporting in the KDK Newsroom, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.